house of mine. I have actually got to go though. Aiden is in his car seat. Vladdy is all dressed and ready to go. We are, he's got shoes on. <laughs> but um, I'm putting diapers to wash. Aiden is in his green car seat. He's exhausted and very, very fussy, but will not go down for a nap. So hopefully he will sleep in the car. That would be amazing. But if he doesn't, then he doesn't. And if he does, that'd be great. Good morning, everybody. I slept until like nine something today. We're gonna let me sleep in, which is amazing. But now we gotta go. Because as you guys know, this weekend is Vladimir's birthday party. And if you guys know anything about us, we are the world's worst people ever because we wait right until the last minute to do anything. Hold on. At our first destination of the day, smart and final. Oh yeah, this is it. I found it. You found it? Yeah. We were having a midlife crisis, well, mid-party crisis. Raymond thought he couldn't find the recipe for his chili. I feel like he makes it so damn much, he should have it memorized by heart. Do have it memorized, but you just want to double check? I need to make sure that I have the amounts right. Yes, of course. No one wants a nasty chili. Okay. So, what do you think I should quadruple sex time? Are you gonna go swimming? Oh yeah, mommy broke that last time, but I gotta fix up his hair and get him in his bathing suit. <laughs> There's more blocks in there. There's more blocks. Uh-oh, be careful. Your head's a little bit too tall for that chair. You can't hang out under there. <gasps> the red block. I used to eat at this place all the time with uh, Ray's dad and Ray's dad's ex-girlfriend, but obviously we weren't vegan. And a few days ago on the Las Vegas vegan group, someone was asking where the best pho is like vegan pho and this place actually came up someone's like oh dude it's pretty tasty i'm like what the hell beast so we just looked it up and they got several uh vegetarian things i'm sure that could be made vegan obviously because it was in las vegas vegan group so we're gonna eat there and it should be good thank you i got like a lemongrass chili tofu even though i wanted uh what did i want i wanted pho and raymond got a yellow curry it does. It looks really good. It smells really good too. It's gonna be exciting. I can't wait. Vladdy's very happy. He's over here clapping his hands. He's eating the remains of our sandwich. Here we see an alley in her natural habitat doing habitat-y things. Like making nests and getting a list of all of the people who entered Vladimir's first birthday bundle. Wow! Anyway. So, so um, cool. So fun. We have a total of, I'm not going to show people's names because, I mean, technically speaking, you could just go down in the comments and see who entered, but still, I ain't going to, you know, whatever. Anyways, so we have a total of 26 entries, but that doesn't mean that we have 26 people, if that makes sense. If you guys remember, there was multiple ways of getting uh, two more entries. So, yeah, thanks to the people who did that. And, um... Uh, I have the generator up and Raymond is going to do the honors of pressing the button so you guys can tell that it's not me. Okay, so 1 to 26. It's hard to hit the generate button when you're looking through things. Generated number 10. Number 10. Ashley, I 
cannot pronounce the last name because I have chicken scratch. Ashley. Yay. Hey. So Ashley, um, we, I will be contacting you via comment right now in a little <laughs> bit. So congratulations to Ashley and thank you everybody so, so much who entered. Um, people win these things. So even if you're like, man, I ain't got a chance to win. I mean, most of the people that I know who do giveaways do just like this like random generator and literally it's like up in the stars whoever wins so yep random.org we're on random.org oh it won't focus well we are but yeah random.org and ashley you're a winner yeah hey guys how are you good i uh got my hair cut And I need to shower. So that's what's going on over here. Scarlett's sitting next to me. And on to the other side, my son is asleep. Oh, you can't see, can you? To the other side, my son is asleep. Look, there he is. And I just ate a sandwich. Yep, went to dinner, left hungry, ate a sandwich. That's what you do. And my house is covered in things for Vladimir's party. And I have to go to work tomorrow. I've got to wake up at 5.30. So, I'm tired because I slept for three, three and a half hours last night because I didn't go to bed until 3.30 a.m. So I woke up with Vladimir at seven and then I took a 40 minute nap before swim school. So I'm pretty much feeling delusional. I think I've eaten my weight in candy today. I've had Skittles and Cracker Jacks and gummy Bear, or gummy worms and Laffy Taffy and Sour Patch Kids. So, and I had a soda today for dinner. I actually had two sodas. So, pretty much a blob. I also ate a donut. You see that box over there? That donut box? I ingested an entire bear claw. So, that's what's been going down. I get paid this Friday. So I'm looking forward to money hitting my bank so I can pay my bills. Because that's what we do as adults. right? We just pay bills and then we die. So that's what's going on in Raytown. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that from Raymond. I don't think I've ever heard anybody sound so dissatisfied with life. But, um, yeah, we're tired. The house is disgustingly dirty still, but I have to clean it tomorrow. But, I mean, when other, what other, like, Wednesdays do I not have to clean it? Like, if you go back to all of the Wednesdays, all of the days, I always have to do something. Vincent over there lost his, uh, collar somewhere. I'm not sure where, though, so I'm gonna go take a walk outside, hopefully, um, all of our cats have obviously breakaway collars in case they were to ever get caught on something because cats, unlike dogs, well, unlike most dogs, can climb on things and jump over things and get themselves in between random places. And cats, you know, should wear breakaway collars so if they get caught, they don't essentially kill themselves, they don't hang themselves. But Monkey Nuts over here lost his collar. So I'm going to see... I don't Allie's know. calling him Cherry. Yeah, his name is Cherry now. I used to have a cat by the name Cherry. Come here, Cherry. Come here, Cherry. Chibi's mad at him because he lost the collar. She said that she know we ain't got extra money like that, and he's over here losing necessities of life. But, um, yeah, I gotta get on the computer right now, edit these two vlogs real yeah. quick. Yeah, I know I'm going to. Raymond's going upstairs to it's go to bed, It's gonna take though. ten years. And I also, what else do I have to do? I also have to, um... But I guess I don't gotta do it right now. I gotta print out the last of the photos to make finish making the suns for Vladimir's birthday party. I cannot believe it today was his official 
he officially completed one year of life, even though his birthday is not until the third. He has officially completed how many weeks? Fifty-two weeks. Mm -hmm. Fifty-two weeks of living on Earth, which is weird. I don't know. I'm happy and I'm sad, but we've already talked about this, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you liked today's vlog. Once again, a good, huge congratulations to Ashley, our winner. Be sure to email me as soon as possible with your information so we can send that out to you. And I will see the rest of you guys tomorrow. Also, a huge thanks to the companies that sponsored. Uh, why are you looking over there? I'm over here. <laughs> Raven's my cameraman. A, hu a huge thank you to the companies that donated and sponsored things to give in the giveaway. Also, a huge thank you for everybody who just participated in general. I enjoyed reading your guys' comments. And I wish you all and nothing but the best with your little guys or gals. Your little star seeds. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Would you end the vlog? <laughs> what do you